is a white racist man and one under stress and also he can do it on command he turns into a nigga what lame superheroes now to name off some lame superheroes let's first start off with superman i mean imagine your name being called superman and your weakness is a rock like geo dude seriously second up we have every superhero from my hero academia all of them are whack i don't care what you say now you listen here nigga. and last but not least we have every superhero in the justice league i don't even know what, like a third of the superheroes in the justice league but the name is justice league that's lame as hell so they all gotta be lame <laughs> I'm not that big of a superhero nerd. Damn. I might think Invincible and One Punch Man are peak, but I couldn't care less for- One that. Punch Man peak? One Punch Man peak? Oh my god. Standards are all time low. Make you like the video right now because I know you're gonna enjoy it. Like it right now, please and thank you. Avengers, the Justice League, and MHA. I just don't really vibe with superheroes that much. I'm more into romantic comedies. But I've been watching Peacemaker, and after watching this Power Rangers romantic comedies. Fight scene, I thought lame that dang, these superheroes are really garbage. And then I thought to do a video about lame superheroes because there's a lot of superheroes out there that make me wonder how you're a superhero. Like, let's start off simple with Black Widow and Hawkeye. Now, okay. I've only watched Infinity War and Endgame, but I don't remember these two doing a single scratch to Thanos. Mm. Like, all these two do is shoot and kick. Yet, they're on the same team with people like Thor, a literal god, and a talking raccoon. Like, these guys can't compare to these guys. Oh. Don't get me wrong, Scarlett Johansson can still get this... You know what I mean? But you can't pay me to watch the Black Widow movie. Like, I bet the main villain of that movie is a purse snatcher. That's <laughs> the main <laughs> oh. The main villain is <laughs> the price of a Birkin bag. That's crazy. The main villain is expensive eyeliner. <laughs> uh, stereotypes about women. We're not sexist. We're jokesters, there's a difference. <laughs> Black Widow and Hawkeye are. And since we're on the topic of bozos that don't have any powers, let's talk about Batman. Not only does this man have no superpowers, mm -hmm. but his only power is basically being rich. Yeah, but he's facts. still on this scaredy cat, no killing people mentality. I mean, same with Iron Man though. Iron Man don't got no superpower. He just, he rich, he's a rich nerd. Apparently if you're a rich nerd, you, you literally become dead i guess i mean everyone dies right like r.i.p iron man i mean i guess like tony stark was cool i guess <laughs> here comes the iron man fans like no one's scared of y'all y'all favorite superhero it's expensive metal. You're not wrong, <laughs> but you didn't have to say it. And it always pisses me off because he's always fighting villains like the Joker and the fat ass penguin. And you know why he's always fighting them? Because he doesn't kill them. Facts. Like, of course the Joker's gonna break out of prison. Are you stupid? Of course he's gonna go on another rampage for the sixth time this year because you don't end his life. How many deaths do you think Batman indirectly caused because he never finishes the job? Always letting these villains live and go to prison just for them to break out the next day. I mean, I feel the exact same way about Batman, but then you have the Batman fans. They'd be like, well, if he kills them, the cycle is just going to continue. And there can still be temporary times of peace. Okay, not everything's going to be happy forever, but you can still temporarily life would be better. It's not like it's not like life can get much worse after Joker. Like let, let's be, let's keep it a buck. Like how how much worse could life really get after Joker? You know? This man can beat Superman, but not the Joker. That makes no sense. And also, even though Batman never kills his villains, but once he sees little Timmy trying to sneak a candy bar into the movie theaters, he's gonna break every single bone in little Timmy's body. This man's <laughs> sense of justice is all over the place. Batman is a certified asshole, and he's just a lamer version of the GOAT, Tony Stark. But overall, oh, I think whoa, Super- Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Wow, the GOAT. I mean, I do like Iron Man more than Batman, like, in every single way. I, I never really felt Batman that much. In fact, growing up, the only superhero movies I really watched was Spider-Man and Iron Man, so... <laughs> I, I can't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate that. Superheroes with no powers are lame. Although having no superpowers does suck, I'd much rather be a Hawkeye or a Batman than to be an Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman man gotta be the most booty cheek superhero out there. This man can talk to fish and breathe underwater. Big whoop. I can hold my breath on the water for two minutes. Now, like, keep it in a bug. Like, what does talking to fish do? 
Aquaman. That's how easy it is to take his job. And also he's only useful at the ocean and sea cause he's Aquaman. What villain is doing nefarious acts of evil at the, the ocean? ocean. <laughs> Sailors? SpongeBob? Pirates? Nobody, that's who. And uh, <laughs> that nigga Aquaman can only go after Luffy and his gang. Like that's all he's worried about. Fucking pirates. Like get off their dick. They're just looking for the One Piece. Like you control the whole ocean and you haven't found the One Piece. You can't locate. That. I don't want to hear nothing from you, Aqua. Do my eyes like, deceive me? Like relax. Bro. Or is this a nigga? Man, meat writers are gonna say. Uh, he can talk to fish too. Fish? These niggas? They're fish. They can't think. Not a thought is behind those eyes. Mm. I won't lie. Controlling sharks and big whales is kind of cool. Like riding a whale would look cool for an Instagram picture. Yeah. But him being able to control whales is automatically canceled out because his superhero costume. Like, come on. That shit is ugly. Automatically if he could, If he could talk to all animals, then he'd be raw. He'd be raw if he could talk to all animals. Only fish is crazy though. Like, how many of us are going to the ocean on the daily? Come on now. Now if I can sit down and have a talk with my dog, cool, we could go on walks, have talks. You gonna walk your goldfish? Come on now. You have to live your ass in the ocean. That's depressing. You're wearing that. At least Batman got dripped. And this man eats at the chum bucket. Like, there ain't no defending this man. It's Aquaman. Who cares about Aquaman? Facts. Aquaman sucks. Ain't no defending him. And now I'm gonna move on to something that's even worse than Aquaman, My Hero Academia. I've watched all four oh seasons my God. of this shit. Didn't oh my watch God. season five because I heard it deviates from the manga and it sucks ass. But I've seen enough of it to see some of the worst heroes there ever. There are some written, terrible like, ass Tailboy niggas in there. Over here with his power being he has a huge pee pee coming out of his booty hole. He can't be a good hero with a cork like that. And this girl who can suck herself up into her body like a turtle. Like, you already know how I feel about turtles. But honestly, what use does this quirk have when fighting a villain? Facts. What can she do? She can't fight with that quirk, and she can't really defend either. Like, why is she even trying to be a hero? And it's not even just her. Like, look at this background of students trying to be a hero. This what man is got a that? Lego as a what is that? I've got no choice but to violate you. That is disgusting. Why is he here, bro? Kill it. Ahead. How can he see? This dude's long neck ass, like, what is he gonna do? Headbutt them from 10 feet away? And th that's just Gary the Snail over there. I'm 100% hmm. positive these guys are used as meat shields. They have no other use other than that. And with quirks like these, I don't understand why heroes don't just walk around with guns. One guy already does it, and we've seen it works. So why not everybody else do it? The only answer I could find is, oh, Japan got strict gun laws. Bruh, when you have dudes that can disintegrate people, burn down an orphanage, yeah. and blow up a school with their bare hands, you might as well legalize guns at that point. Like true, that world true. would be a much safer place. Can we talk about that rock, the rock guy too? That like the he, he can talk to animals. I think I mean that could be useful. I guess. Fuck niggas. If I was a hero in that universe, I would only use guns. I would go by hero name, Nigalicious. Okay. Quark. AK-47. Last time <laughs> we got a superhero who is actually the reason why I made this video and it's another DC hero. They just continue to mess up, but oh God. they really messed up here. Oh and God. this is all real, just to let you know. So in 1977, DC wanted a comic starring a black superhero because- This Marvel already sounds bad. Not DC wanted a comic starring a black superhero because Marvel already had a few and DC was behind with being progressive. Oh, so they no. made this superhero this sounds this sounds horrible. the Black Bomber. Now, this superhero is a white racist man and one under stress and also he can do it on command. He turns into a nigga, a Wh big black. What? How did they think of that? Why did they think of that? That's stupid. Man, his superpower is turning black and he's white and racist. You can't make this shit up, bro. This is the superhero y'all try to be progressive with. This guy, like, I don't even know what he can do with this power, because I can't even find the full comic strip to read. But yeah, this is the opposite. He looked like a raw ass nigga, though. Like, if he was a superhero, he looked like he'd be badass as hell, but I'm not going to call him a superhero. Absolutely so not. Progressive. I don't even think I needed to describe why this superhero sucks. Reason number 2000 why Marvel is better than DC. And those are some of the lame superheroes out there. 
Despite what I said about Batman, I'm going to still watch the new Batman movie for Zoe Kravitz alone. If I can't have Zendaya, then I might as well have Zoe. She's my next best option. And that's kind of all I wanted to say. Nah, a lot of those superheroes were lame as hell. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't mess with most superheroes, though, to be honest. Superheroes just not mine. It's just not my thing. So since superheroes aren't my thing, I, I'm just going to trash all of them. It's not like I like them, so I'm going to trash them all. <laughs> And, and if you wanna, if you wanna come out here being mad with your comics book out, talking about some, um, so statistically you're wrong about this, like, I don't care. I will lay my nuts on your forehead and you will sniff them. You'll sniff them so hard that pubes start going up your nose, like, leave me alone. I don't understand.